Hello my friends, and welcome to my review of Solo uh, Star Wars so a Story. I've been watching a lot of people calling it a Soy Wars, a Soy Ro, a Soy Lo, Soy Lo Story, something about soy. So basically the, the idea that they've been saying is that all the guys have been feminized in uh, all the different uh, character roles and uh, that's the problem with uh, Star Wars. That apparently there's uh, some sort of evil woman named Kathleen Kennedy that's uh, trying to put too much political agendas and propagandas in her thing. Um, but I'm just trying to be as objective as I can be here. So I'm one of those people that actually likes the, um, you know, the 2000, early 2000 Star Wars. Those are kind of fun. I mean, Jar Jar Binks, I think, was actually an awesome character. You, you can criticize all him all you want. I thought he was a really, really funny, fun character and a happy guy. But the reason I bring Jar Jar Binks is that possibly there's somebody that people could find a lot more annoying. There's some sort of robot uh, that is very obnoxious and treats people very unfairly and is kind of nasty to them. You'll see it in the movie if you watch it. And uh, But otherwise, I mean, it's kind of cool. And... Uh, the the she gets her comeuppance anyway so uh, there's a there's a at least a point to clap about so my review is this is that it's actually not that bad of a movie i mean like they were expecting like oh it's a super flop they're they're actually cheering it on for star wars to fail but i mean like look there there's a scene in the millennium falcon they're flying through space going through all these different uh um you know, crazy um, locations with uh, with danger at every turn, and then the planets, and then uh, twists and turns in the plot. I mean, they did the best they can. And then, sure, it's not the 1970s original Star Wars, but what do we expect? I mean, it's a different time, it's a different age. Um, so different director, different story writers. I, I mean, there's just so many different things. So overall, I think it was uh, pretty entertaining. I mean, you're gonna boycott it, right? So see, my issue with people that are saying like, I'm gonna boycott all Star Wars films, right? Is that if you like Star Wars, if you're, if you're for at least a little bit of a fan, um, you might want to see it, maybe see it on a DVD later or whatever, like buy the DVD on Amazon or something, I don't know. But, seeing it on the big screen, uh, and I have a theater with like these recliner chairs. So I'm, I thought I might as well watch that film. So what I did was I watched it like like an hour or two after like one of the critics I watched, like uh, one of the critics that, that criticizes the Star Wars does. I think some sort of comic book artist secrets or something. This guy makes comic books. He's really funny. The the humor, it's very, it's very funny. Um, you know, he opens up the little different um, Star Wars toys. Uh, comic artist pro secrets, maybe? I think you'll find him. Uh, his video is gonna pop up because it's very associated with Star Wars. He made so many Star Wars videos. Anyways, he had a Star Wars channel. Um, so I thought it was actually a pretty good movie. So I watched the film before he, he did it. Yeah, I, I could have some criticisms with the characters, uh, but not really so much. I mean, they have some weird uh, kind of fetishes like the Keldo Kelrizian or something. He's in love with that robot that's nasty to everybody. I mean, if she was really sweet, maybe he should have been in love with her. But, you know, I mean, I'm not against robot, you know, human relationships, but I just find it kind of strange that they were kind of pushing it. Maybe they should have like kind of made the robot hot. I don't know why they didn't. Um, at least then there would be a good reason. Um, but it was kind of cool to have that uh, girl from, uh, what's that? What's that movie? Uh, what's that show? Uh, Game of Thrones, the, the girl with the dragons. Yeah, so she's the she's the other character lead. So she's, a, uh, she's actually pretty good, you know? I kind of like the The love story is good. Uh, the story is good. I, th I, th I, th I thought it was pretty congruent in all the things. The, the twists and the turns and the plot actually really were well designed. I mean, I wasn't ready. I'm glad I didn't listen to any reviews beforehand and I didn't get the plot spoiled. I just heard about the whole like uh, robot relations thing. Uh, apparently it's called pansexual. Okay, fair enough. I mean, 
So I guess nowadays like the limits keep keep getting pushed onto the Star Wars universe, like whatever they choose to actually do is is their is their choice. But I mean overall entertaining movie, see it in 3D, Chewbacca's cool. I mean like the Chewbacca is gotta go see Chewbacca. The Millennium Falcon is cool, the 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 space flights are cool, there's a lot of twists in the story. I don't wanna ruin anything, you know, except that the whole robot thing. But that evil belligerent feminist robot is <laughs> kind of <laughs> she got her come up uh, at some point. So, anyways, my review for this uh, let me see Star Wars. I guess I'll give it a four out of five. You know, a lot of people like to criticize and give it like a three out of five or a two out of five, but yeah, four out of five, eighty percent. I think that's not bad. Not the best movie. I actually kind of like it better than Infinity War. I saw Infinity War, I really didn't like the ending, you know? I wasn't very happy with it, I mean, why would you make the ending where, you know, where where it doesn't make the people feel good, you know? You wanna be leaving the theater feeling good. With this movie, I think you kinda left the movie feeling good, you know, the um, the main plot points got, got covered, everything got covered, there was a lot of different reveals, and you had a lot of fun. A lot of strong female characters. I enjoyed that. I mean, it's really cool. Um, so, four out of five, really reasonable. Maybe it deserves a higher score, but I watched too much of that comic art as pro secret. Too. You know, there's this the whole thing uh, of satire that makes it really funny and you make it watch it. So anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching the review. Thumb it up so that other people could watch this review more. Somehow it pops up higher on YouTube. If you liked it or something so if you liked it thumb it up and otherwise have a great day and enjoy the movie